Hi guys, my name is Luca Del Tongo. I'm uh, an Italian computer science student and um, in this tutorial I want to show you how to track a person head movement. The code I will show you comes from uh, a personal project I've been involved and um, it consists on helping people using a wheelchair to move around using only their head movement. So let's fire up uh, Visual Studio and uh, let's see first of all the final result and then we will discuss the custom approach I've used. The application developed, it's a standard Windows form application and uh, after having pressed the initialize tracking button you can see the video it's a pre-recorded video because my webcam has compatibility problem with Windows 7 and um, as you can see I'm moving my face and we are estimating the direction of my head using optical flow low level information so let's give a look and explain further the code in the after we can give a look at the windows form it's a very very simple layout and uh, let's give a look at initialize tracking click event in this first of all we grab we capture the video stream and after we initialize our face tracking in the initialize face tracking method we detect our face, the face present in the video using our cascade classifier and uh, I'm assuming that there's only one face present in the, in the video and uh, after that, after having detected the presence of a face in the video we define a tracking area. A tracking area is, uh, is based on the dimension of the our, fa or our detected face and um, we, re we are with a scaling area factor we restrict our uh, search features area on uh, a smaller area. This improves the stability, the stability of our algorithm and um, in this phase we are allocating uh, some working images and after that we detect some features to track during the frames that compose the video and the um, features to track uh, um, is based on the good features to track method that it's a standard OpenCV method and um, here we pass some uh, parameters and these are quite important because I, as you have seen in the video uh, only few features are tracked because I have put a quite big quality level parameter to um, detect only good feature. After we uh, improve accuracy of our de corner good feature detection with find your corner sub peaks method and um, then in this for loop we shift our actual feature coordinate that have been computed on the new face gray image that uh, has been copied with the right and appropriate region of interested governed by the tracking area width and height so we need to shift their um, original location back and after we compute convex all from act from feature points and then after having computing the convex all we compute the centroid of our convex all to find the centroid of uh, convex all I have uh, adapted and improved uh, a code I find on this blog 
and um, as you can see they find the centroid method it's um, purely based on some um, mathematical computation it's not uh, so difficult it's quite easy and um, the centroid computed in the initialized phase, phase tracking method it's our reference centroid that will be used to compute the movement of our head so after having initialized our tracking we attach application idle to the application idle event handler and let's see our application idle method so this is called for each frame in fact we are obtaining a new frame the next frame from our capture variable then if some condition are respect we compute optical flow you can uncomment some line because to, to see uh, the difference be between uh, computing a dense and a sparse optical flow in, the, um, in this video I show you uh, the sparse optical flow result because I have um, concentrated my code on this but I have provided you a functional and complete computer dense uh, optical flow method so to compute sparse optical flow uh, I have used the standard Lucas Canad pyramid method that is based on pyramids and uh, as you can see uh, we have a gray frame, the next gray frame the actual feature and uh, after having compute optical flow using Lucas Canad method we compute, compute the new hull of our new feature that have been estimated, estimated using Lucas Canad and the new centroid computed from the new hull this is used to compute and estimate the motion from our sparse optical, uh, optical flow and uh, as you can see this method is quite simple because it consists of define the difference between the new centroid computed from the actual frame and the reference centroid that has been computed in the initialize phase tracking method we define a threshold based on the tracking area and uh, using it we can compute by differencing the various x and y centroid difference we compute the direction of our head as you can see this method it's quite uh, trivial so certainly uh, we can improve th the, the compute uh, uh, motion from sparse optical flow method and uh, use uh, some more advanced uh, strategy but uh, as you have seen in the video the, the estimation is quite good so um, let's final view the video and the application again as you can see the um, blue dots are the feature being tracked the yellow dot is the reference centroid computing from initial convex hull and the red dot is the centroid that is being computed every frame and the difference between the red and yellow centroid give the direction and mm, one possible problem with this, uh, with this approach is that uh, blue dots, the feature, can fall off from face and this gives instability to the computation of our centroid and uh, can lead to error prediction on uh, motion estimation and um, I hope uh, you like this uh, custom approach Feel free to contact me if you have some problem.